Hello, everyone. Happy Halloween. It's Becky Belote here. I am a Creative Memories Advisor in Newport News, Virginia. Today, I'm actually Foam Square, my favorite Creative Memories product. So anyways, I couldn't resist that. Um, I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I'm going to start today because I sometimes forget important things that I want to say at the end. Um, and I want to say, uh, I want to share a little quick message from you and ask you for a little bit of help um, for a friend of mine. Um, I was um, lucky enough to have seen the film Sound of Freedom. It was out. It was really kind of popular for a bit. And then it was pulled away. And I'm like, oh, I really wanted to see that. And I didn't get to see it. And then a friend of mine, thank you, Johnny Young, um, said, hey, um, it's been re-released. It's back out of the theaters. And me and my my good friend Holly next door we went together and um it was it was really good so if you um it, it's based on a true story it exposes a really serious crime that we have going on in the in the world and um one of the the statements in the film that just took just literally just took my breath away was when they said um, they were comparing it to the the drug trade. And, and we all know, I mean, everybody knows somebody that's been affected, a, a family member that's, you know, been affected by, you know, the drug trade. Um, but the comment was made, you know, that this is the, the fastest growing, most horrible thing, the, se the sex trafficking that's going on um, in our world. Um, that it's the fastest, like it's just growing exponentially every day, um, becoming more popular. Um, and they said that the people that are doing this have realized that it's it's much better than drug trafficking because if you sell, for instance, a, a bag of heroin, you sell it once. But with the child, they can sell that same child five times a day. And it just it just sickened me. And um, so I'm glad I saw it. I encourage you to see it um, if, if you haven't. But what I'm asking for help on today is I have a friend from high school. So this is not somebody that I'm recommending that I don't know. She is a friend from high school. Um, she grew up in an abusive home and she has dedicated her life um, to helping other people that are abused, including those that have been se sex trafficked. And she, um, she was looking for some fast fundraisers that she says that for instance in our area and i'm sure it's the same in yours um that in our area there are a lot of good organizations that help with people you know have been battered or abused you know children you know moms you know and even those that are trying to escape this sex trafficking um however there's not any of them that help right now in other words, um, if and, and I am just so blessed to have not been affected by this in my life at all, um, but it just is so upsetting to think about it. Sorry, it's, it's right. Um, but anyways, um, if I can make a difference, it's going to make me really happy. But anyways, what she um, said is, for instance, if if I was, you know, fearful of my life or my child's life and I went to one of these helpful organizations out there, they can't help me today. I have to submit an application in most cases and it could be days or weeks. And what really captured Gloria's heart, my friend Gloria Henderson, she um she is the founder of I Am Enough Retreats that helps helps women, helps people, doesn't have to be a woman, um, with with, with these issues. Um, helps with education, helps with rescue, helps with a safe haven. Um, she um, she said that really what affected her was that she had a a, a mother with a, with children that had gone to a help center and was told to just go back home because they didn't have a place for her right now. And she said she couldn't stomach it. She had to find the money to get this girl into a hotel with with her small children she did not want them sleeping in that car and so she is a beautiful spirit wanting to help people and she said that she needed a fundraiser because their funds were very low and that this was a really you know high time you know that people were, were needing help so what i am going to do um 
is I am going to donate six $50 CM gift certificates. They'll show up on your creative members account. Um, I don't care if you're an advisor or a client. Um, I would be happy um, to, to allow you to win a $50 CM credit. All you need to do is make a $10 donation to go into the drawing for this. All right, so this will be a drawing. I'm giving away six of them. You can win more than one time if your name happens to be drawn more than one time. And um, for every $10 you donate, so if you donate $100, you'll go into the drawing 10 times. If you donate $25, you'll go into the drawing two times. I hope that makes sense. Um, the way I would love to be paid for this is via Venmo. Um, and if you would write, I am enough retreats in the subject line, that's how I'll know that that, that is what it's for. My Venmo account is... The at sign, Becky, B-E-C-K-I-E, -E, with the um, dash, and then my last name, B-E-L-O-T-E, -E. all right? At Becky, dash, Belote, um, subject line, I am enough retreats. Um, this will go straight to helping people that um, have been abused sexually, physically, or sex trafficked in the Hampton Roads area. And um, and yes, it's going on right here, folks, in Hampton Roads, if you're one of my local friends. So anyways, um, just wanted to, to give that plug. And I will do this drawing on Saturday, okay? I'll do it um, using a, a spinny wheel, so it'll be really random. I'll do it on my Facebook page, so it'll be live, so you know that I'm not cheating. And um and I, I thank you in advance for, for any help that you can give. Okay, so let's get on to the good stuff. I'm going to take off my phone square <laughs> because I think it's going to get in my way. And I'm going to show you some really cool techniques. I, um, thank you for those of you that, that um, didn't get bored of that and, and kept watching. Let me change my screen. All right, so we um, have some great stuff that just came out. Um, so I wanted to point it out real fast. This is that military album that I was telling you about. Isn't that beautiful? It's called um, Call to Serve. I think this would be great for those of you that are have a bucket list of seeing all the states in the United States to put um, your journeys, your your um, all your journeys on your bucket list. Um, I think it would be great for 4th of July. Um, but of course, I love this for a military album. It would work for anything military, right? So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Um, the next thing is we have stickers and paper for that line. Again, it's called Called to Serve. So finally, um, we have a little something, something uh, to help our heroes. All right, so that's the sticker pack. We also have beautiful paper pack. Now the stickers are nine. The paper pack is only five. Um, so if you really like this, you may want to consider getting two because it's only a six piece of paper pack. All right. Isn't that nice? All right. So that is called to serve. All right. Also, and I am, I, I think my, my croppers that are coming to see me this weekend, they're going to be so upset with themselves if they did not pre-order this um, to have at their seat. It is just stunning. It is way prettier than I ever imagined. Um, these are like opalescent. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like, they look like opals with color in them. They're really, they're those little sticky gemstones. And I, you know me, I like, I like the sparkle. Um, also, so that's, that comes in the embellishment pack. So let's throw the embellishments over here for a second. Um, I, you know what? I was at my weekend retreat when this stuff came out and I really didn't get to focus on what it said. I'm sure it said somewhere that these embellishments, they're embossed. So they look really 3D. Can you see the 3D-ness there? All right, so so these are all, they're not puffy. They are literally embossed. Do you see the, the detail in that? We're going to love these embellishments. And um, I, you know, last week I, I mentioned that this was going to be a versatile line, but when I see it, it's even more versatile than I thought. Like, look at this for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So we can, we can do winter. 
We can do Christmas. Um, there, there are definitely some wintry fun embellishments for winter. There's some mittens and, and a little hat and stuff. We got some trees that look snow capped, a little sort of chalet there for your ski trips. Um, the mats even have that embossing on them. These little mats that come in the back. Um, there's some little snowmen. Um, but also for, for, for my, my friends in warm weather, um, there's, there's just some really, I think beautiful, like, look at these, how beautiful that is for your decorations, um, for this season. I don't know how people in Florida decorate. You might not decorate this way, but, <laughs> um, I, I thought it was certainly more than just a winter pack. Look at that. Is that beautiful? I'm spending some time on it because I don't want you to underestimate it because I could lick this. This is just so, so beautiful. Look at that. All right. So anyways, those are the embellishments. Super pretty. I'm going to scoot these right here for, for Spet. Um, and then we have um, the stickers. Again, look at these. They don't have to be winter, do they? All right, but yet some of the some of these are going to be wintry. Some of these are going to be outdoorsy. Some of these are going to be coldy, um, but not necessarily snowy. All right, so so very versatile. Take a look, really, how versatile and pretty this collection is. All right, then let's head out to the map packs. I love you more than all the stars. So if there's something I noticed, if there is something like these, I feel like are, anybody can use, right? But like this one, this one has snow-capped trees, Florida, but on the other side, it doesn't. So I found that every single thing that is skewed winter, winter, winter is paired with something not so much. So don't cry, Florida. Don't cry, California. You can use this. Super fun, huh? So these are beautiful. I just really love the colors. Um, again, this one, very pretty with our snow-capped trees and deer. Other side, not so much. All right, so this one actually has a snowflake or two in the pattern. This side, uh-uh. All right. Do you see how you could use this for, for Christmas because of the greens and the and all of the evergreens? And then we have some blues down here, which are going to look really good with some of the ones that are wintry. So those of you that right now are suffering, <laughs> I, we, we, we had a little cold spell today. The, the temperature is way down in the 60s today. Um, and I saw a friend of mine had a foot of snow where she lives. So yeah, there's stuff in here. You could definitely make this snowy too, but you don't have to make it snowy. So that's the paper pack. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to make a, a quick border with this line in, in, a, in a moment. Um, the album, you can get the album with, um, it's called Nordic winter. I don't even know if I told you the name. This is the album cover set for Nordic winter. Is that beautiful? Does that have to be winter? No, it doesn't. All right. So um, if you um, were so sad that we did not have Fast to Fab with Christmas cheer, we do have Fast to Fab with Nordic winter. So um, so all of these pages that you thought, oh, yeah, I could make Christmas out of that. Um, you can use in this book if you want a different look. Um, that's kind of fun for Christmas. Can't you see Christmas on this? You know, you add the right colors and this is going to be just beautiful for Christmas. And Christmas cheer has all of these colors in it, too. So that if you want to use the Fast to Fab pages and pair it with the Christmas cheer papers and stuff, this is going to be just beautiful. OK, so I wanted to show that you can get it with the Fast to Fab pages, which is cheaper, um, or you can get just the cover set um, to, to put your um, your masterpieces in. So I wanted to show you that. All right. Let's move on um, to the ideas that I wanted to show you today. So what I wanted to show you is a technique that I use that's just really super crazy fast. Um, you can do it with any paper design. You can pair it with any, um, you can pair it with borders from your border maker. You can pair it with borders from your, 
border punches. You can pair it for, for, with borders from your laser borders that are already made that way. My Cricut girls, you know, you can do it too. Um, and it's just cutting strips of paper. And I always ha people have people ask me, Becky, what size did you cut those strips again? And what I want to get through your head is it doesn't matter um, how wide you cut your strips. The idea is you use one designer print. So this was paper. Let me put them all back together. This was paper. I'm going to put it on top of here so that you'll believe me. From one piece of paper from Birthday Bonanza. Okay. And I just cut it in different strips. All right. So when you're deciding um, what width your strips need to be, you know, ideally, you just want it to take up the whole sheet, right? Um, so 12 inches worth. So there's all kinds of number combinations that will add up to 12, right? We have a 12 by 12. So if you did a one inch, a two inch, and a three inch two times, that's one plus two is three plus three more is six. And if you did it twice on one piece of paper, that would take up the whole piece of paper, right? If I did... Two, 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 all the way across. That would take up the whole piece of paper. Um, if I did one and a half. So, so what I'm saying is it doesn't matter. Just make sure that I, what I did is I got these all to add up to six. You know, 1.5 plus two plus two and a half, that adds up to six. So if I do that twice, that's 12. But you could do four strips. Four plus four, two plus two. That's a real popular one for me. I do that a lot. Or three plus three, one plus one, two plus two. They all add up. And the reason why I'm doubling them is because I have double page spread. And I, I, I have that little, a little bit, that little nerdy um, side of me that wants everything to be really balanced. So that's why you're seeing doubles. All right. So I just wanted to get that point across. This particular in instance that I just did was this one that I put the star by it. One and a half, one and a half, two, two, two and a half, two and a half. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. All right. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to build either directly onto my album pages or onto cardstock, if you like to work on cardstock, and lay them out any way I want, <laughs> right? Um, because I like balance, I'm probably going to do the same thing on both sides. So I'm going to take my bigger, chunkier one. I'm going to put it over here against the edge. I'm going to take this one, this maybe this, this thinner one, put it right beside it, maybe with some space in between. And um, last, this one, um, I'm going to put over here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, maybe so that they're not upside down. And then we get a beautiful look, right? All right. And then at that point, what I could do, um, like this is birthday, I could throw um, a really fun border across the bottom or across the top. Let's talk across the top because I know what I'm going to do on my others. All right, let's do it across the top. And that kind of pulls it all together. And you're ready for your photos, your mats, your stories. Um, and, and, it, and it's beautiful, right? Um, another thing you could do is you could take this one if you want. Um, you could take this one and put it there. Okay. You could also do all the same color. You don't have to have different colors. So anyways... Uh, lots of variation. You could also do your border this way. So like we put that right there. So lots of looks by just doing these little strips. Okay. Is that cool? All right. So that's one example. I'll finish that page up when you're not watching. Um, let's go to the next idea. So this next one I did, I already stuck it down. This was four, two. 4422. Two. Okay, the one that I said I do a lot. All right. This time I didn't flip and flop. I used the same color over and over, but this was one sheet of paper, two inch strip, two inch strip, four inch strip, four inch strip. Okay, right here. And then what I did is I took the laser borders. Um, so this was Christmas cheer. Took the laser borders from seasonal sidings, and I did the same thing. I cut those in two inch, two inch, four inch, four inch. So here's a two.
and a four. And a four, and it doesn't really matter the order that you're putting them in. I had, I wanted these little stubs to to each have the the rounded edge, so that's why I did that. And then you can put foam squares on them. Since here, not that big of a foam square, just a regular foam square will do. And just, just throw a few on there. I love it that we have these with different sizes now so we can get them done a little bit faster. A little bigger size. And um, I already did that with this one. And do you see what I did? It, it's, it's, it's being separated, which is a little different look, isn't it? Do you like that? All right. And then I just gave that a little bit of a pop. Popsy, popsy, pop. Sometimes the front and backs are a little bit different. This one, the birds are a little bit brighter on one side than the other. So I'm trying to pay attention to make sure I don't put these foam squares on the wrong side. Yes. All right, and I could keep going and I will finish that without you. <laughs> but um, I love the how it gives this a little bit of pop, little texture down there. Is that super pretty? All right, so we'll finish this one later. All right, this uh, this this technique is brilliant. Uh, and I know I've, I've taught you that before, so I am actually not going to demo it. Um, however, it's brilliant with those pieces of paper that are landscaping. Um, Serene Waters has one, and I finished this album with a sheet from Serene Waters. This is actually a digital book, but um, this is that sheet from Serene Waters. And if you can imagine cutting it like this and spacing it across, you capture this sun look all the way across a double page spread. Um, and then you can use the other sheet of paper that looks like this for your mats. All right. So that's a great strategy for those ones that you don't even want to cut. You want to put it on your wall. It's a great way to incorporate it in your in your book. All right. So let me get this out of the way. So let's go ahead and make do um, do this idea with the new line really fast. All righty. So I'm going to work. On that one that had those reindeer on it. I call them reindeer. I guess they're just deer, right? And you just need one piece of paper for this. You don't need to use both of them, which I love. Um, that way you have it for extra stuff. And um, what do I want to do? Um, I am going to do, how about one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. So there's one. I'll do another one. Actually, I'm going to do one, two, three. It doesn't matter on this one, this pattern. If you were doing that sunset, this is what you would want to do. You would want to do one, two, three, one, two, three. On something like this, it would not have mattered. I could do one, one, two, two, three, three. But you're going to see, you know, it's going to cut up the whole piece of paper, which is my goal. There's one. Two and the last one is automatically going to be three. All righty, and we're going to throw them down. Why don't we put the big one on the inside this time, just for giggles and grins? And then I'll put this one here, this one beside it. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, just for a little bit of variation, we also could um, cut off a little bit. Since I didn't do that on the other two, I'm going to stack these all back together. You hear my bird? Pico is really happy that it's Halloween. Not really. All right. He doesn't even know that it's Halloween. The dogs will know later. 
maybe. All right, I'm going to cut off an inch off all of these strips real fast. Yes, you can do them all at once. All right. Just, just to give you a little variation, a different look that we could do on this. So let's go back to where I was. I'll put the big one in the middle. And now it's going to be more centered. And then I think I did this one here. All right. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my my new, um, this, this line, which I didn't mention, it also comes out comes right now it's bundled you can get it for a discount if you get all of this together you get 10 percent off and it comes with the tree line border punch and the snow capped mountains all right these are different than any of our other mountains and the trees are different than any of our other trees and you're going to see that in a minute so i'm going to do one border of two colors one border of two colors and I'm using cardstock, so I am not going to try to double it up. If I was doing designer print, I definitely would. If you're doing designer print, you do want to make sure that you like um, both colors together, front and back, because you are going to, what I'm going to show you how to do is we're going to flip these to get a different look. So, so you do want them to look different. All right, so I'm going to cut this one off at the one inch mark. One inch mark. Then I am going to cut it at one, one, two, three, three. One. One, this is a solid, there's no pattern. There's no reason for me to worry about mixing anything. One, one, two, two. Well, I need a three. All right, I'm going to put those aside for a moment. Now we'll do the other color. I'm just doing two tones um, so that it will show up better. It doesn't really matter which tones you use. Um, these will look nice on this design, I think. So the other tree... Um, I wanted that one to be a dominant color. I wanted it to pop more than this color. Um, this one I am going to actually cut a little wider. I cut the other one at one inch, as you recall. I'm going to cut this one off at one and a quarter. So that's one inch plus one railroad track. One and one quarter. So I'm going one railroad track over. So that the little tippy tops of those trees, the biggest tree, is lined up at one and one quarter. Then I'm going to cut this one at one inch, one inch, two inch, two inch, and three. That's one. That's one. I'm going to do two twos, which reminds me of a little ballerina. <laughs> Two, 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 and then um, a three, because then it'll split these last ones into two threes. All right. Now it's time to, to put it all together. Let me throw this away. All right. Kind of scraps everywhere. All right, so um, let's kind of lay it back to where it was. Let's assume I stuck it down. 
I let it stick out a little higher towards the top than towards the bottom. A little margin at the top is going to show, but not as much as at the bottom because I'm going to put this tree border across the bottom. The one with the wider part, I'm going to stick that down first. So this one's going to go here. Oh, actually, I'm going to need to stick this. I'm going to stick it so it's not going to move on me. Not using my mat to its full potential. This helps me be able to line it up better when I use the mat. I love it that our mats, you can see the measurements all the way around, even when you have your piece of paper down on it, right? Right, and then this one is all ready to go. All right, so now for the magic. We are going to put this fat guy down here. All right, and then this smaller one is going to go here. And then this medium size one here. Then what I'm going to do with the other color, one way is going to be exactly the same. If you flip it the other way, it's going to be a little bit skewed. And I'm going to do it skewed. You also could pop these. Um, and I think I am going to pop it a little bit with these little tiny foam squares. Let me make sure I have it right before I do it. I'm going to put them on the bigger trees there. You can even cut your smaller ones in half to get even a smaller pop to pop. All right, so let's throw these guys off. A little backing, they're a little double. I don't know if you've used these before, but if you, most people that think they don't need them when they get them, they want to dress up as a foam square for Halloween. They love them so much. <laughs> so now I'm going to lay that down on here for that beautiful pop. Is that lovely? And of course, I would do the rest of it. All right. So I wanted to, to show you that little skill. And I hope that you will try this. It's going to work with any paper collection, any border maker, any of your laser borders um, with, with Christmas cheer. Um, Christmas cheer did not come out with laser borders, but seasonal sightings and joy to the world do have laser borders and both lines match this line. So um, these are 12 inches already. So whatever you cut your strips, put your lasers, and you can get this very unique, pretty. So we hope that you like it. And I hope you will try it. And I hope you have a very happy Halloween. It's raining here. I hope it will clear up for our trick-or-treaters because I truly had M&M's for breakfast, so <laughs> I don't want any, any leftovers. I want the kids to have it all because I will eat it. So anyways, thank you again for watching. I appreciate you. And again, if you do want to donate to I Am, um, I Am Big Enough Treats, I Am Enough, I Am Enough for Treats, um, uh, to please uh, $10 increments. Uh, we'll get you into the drawing. I will reward six fifty dollar uh, CM credits um, to to anybody that wants that feels um, called to, to donate to this very um, worthy cause. 
All right. Um, thanks again. My Venmo is at the at symbol Becky, B-E-C-K-I-E dash Belote, B-E-L-O-T-E. And I am a Creative Memories Advisor from Virginia and would love to have your support if you want to get any of these supplies. Um, don't forget that um, secret box. Uh, those are getting ready to go away. So if you want a secret box, you should get a secret box. Um, what else? Um, probably by the time you see this, um, the Halloween album may be gone. There's a Halloween album right this minute. Um, um, at one o'clock, that goes away, I think. Uh, what else? Secret box is Halloween. And then this bundle price. I suspect the bundle price um, is going to go away maybe next week. You might have some more time on the bundle bundle price being 10% off. Okay. Thanks for watching. Sorry to keep you so long today. Bye. Now, to turn us off.